Good day. So, update five. Uh, I have started a new world for various reasons, which I'll get into. I'm still going to stick with the old one as well and complete that. And again, I know it has been a long time since I've made a video, but don't worry, I still absolutely love this game. Uh, just a lot of real, uh, real life world stuff has been preventing me from playing. But now I'm getting back into it. So, what have I done? Why am I doing it? We are starting a fresh new world, playing vanilla, because basically the train system in our old world is epic, and that is going to be an absolute nightmare to uh, fix. So what I want to do is start a fresh one, play through the content, uh, stick, stick to nice and neat, and, and learn all the new stuff, learn all the new train systems and the, the new vehicle systems, and that's what I've been doing. Uh, I've got about 20 or so, 20 to 30 hours in this playthrough so far. Okay, completely vanilla. So, I absolutely love update 5. What I'm going to go through is just a couple of things that I really, really, really like. One of them being, uh, oh, it's getting dark, but never mind. One of them being the walls. Can I put the wall down? are now the same both sides. Now for OCD people, that is just amazing. The other thing that I personally like is this um, reversibility of the of the conveyor lifts. That is absolutely awesome too. Besides, you guys already know everything else um, that's awesome in the update. And I won't go through that all, but it's, uh, I really, really like this update. So much quality of life. All right, cool. So I'll just go through um, what I'm doing in this world. So I, I usually have stuck to um, keeping the keeping the whole map on the one grid, kind of like OCD, all lined up. But I've I've thrown that away, um, and I want to be a bit more free form. Still neat, but um, like you'll notice, these buildings are free from each other in all different angles. So I've started in this area here. I've always wanted to start in this area. Um, so there's grasslands. Um, I've start, actually started just, just here in this bit of water, um, overlooking the, the Blue Crater Lake. And um, it's, it's really actually a good place to start. I spawned into the grasslands and the first thing I did was just run all the way over here and plop down here. There's four normal nodes of iron, a normal node of copper. This is where the hub is just here, overlooking down here. It's close to some coal and water for when you get coal, which I've just got. And there's also oil, which we're about to unlock. Nitrogen here, more nitrogen here. And quartz is just here. Um, and there's actually a pure caterium node as well, right? Uh, whoops, a normal caterium node, like all in the, where we spawned. So this is the, the map uh, laid in, hub here. Uh, the basic, the very first basic building, um, I've got a copper building and a steel building. Here is my first route I've, I've planned out with the tractors, with the new um, paving system and everything, it's really cool. A little concrete set up here and some coal. Um, and now I'm working on a mini, mini motor factory here. Um, and I'll just go, th actually yes, of course, the project assembly is across in the grasslands. And that's pretty cool as well. I'm looking forward to using all the new decorations and all that stuff. So let's actually go through and have a quick look at what I've done so far. Um, it is nighttime, but it only lasts for five minutes. And anyway, nighttime's cool because you get to see all the lights. Absolutely love the signs. It's so awesome. Uh, I've got a little, little um, hub set up here with the basics. You can obviously see what's in these now, nice and easily. And then over there um, is a little wire building so that does the copper wire the quick wire the cable and i've got another little bin for um copper sheets all right i'll fast forward things that that take a bit too long to get around to but here's our little tractors oh painting the vehicles is so bloody awesome now uh over here um i've set up a little delivery so we go down there pick up concrete and steel and then uh, we, we plonk it off down here. We've got pipes, beams, encased industrial beams, 
and uh, the old concrete. All right, so I've cur currently just got one um, assembler in here making the encased industrials. I'm um, just chipping away at it. Just going vanilla, chipping away at the content, and uh, it's actually quite fun playing this game in vanilla. Oh yeah, the floor holes are amazing too. Okay, so there's a little, just chipping away at that. So let's go have a look at our uh, tractor setup. I've, I've gone with this kind of um, hyper tube kind of highway, and, and you can actually use the lights as power poles, or instead of running a power pole um, set up to get power down to your other factories, you can actually use the lights themselves as uh, as power. I think it's pretty cool, and this actually is pretty cool when you go through here. Um, another thing I really enjoy about the update is actually the music. They've added a few um, tracks of music. I actually really like the satisfactory music to chill out to. And um, the music's really cool. This hypertube uh, setup, I reckon, pretty damn cool too. I got, I've actually got two tractors running on this setup. One's actually catching up to the other one over a long period of time. But what I did was I just so I've got a truck set up here. Um, what are we making here? Just got a coal node and an iron node, and we're making the. Um, the real basic stuff, so the, the, the beams and the pipes. The tractors come down, they pick up the concrete on the way down, it's a little concrete factory, and then they pick up the, the um, oh, I mean, they pick up the beams and the pipes and then they and they piss off back to base. Um, I did that, I did the, the, uh, the layout with one truck, and then I simply built another truck and told it to do the same route, so that is really handy. Um, and obviously I unlocked coal power and just made a nice little neat coal power plant down here. Everyone knows coal and, and the, uh, the hub is hanging over there overlooking this. Um, yeah. So going freeform as well. These, oh, the graphics are so good now too. I'm not sure how good this um, video is going to be uploaded to YouTube, but the graphics are actually so good now in the game. They, these even look cool. So the... the Diagonal railways, everything. I'm loving it. The zooping with the building, the customizer. Yep. In case you can't tell, I, I update five has really given me the. Uh, I've really got addicted again. I can tell. All right, so there's the coal plant. Um, yeah, it's a coal plant. Nice and neat. And I've got a nice uh, little railing to get down here. So I'll zip on back to the base. Probably fast forward it a bit. Radio, so back at the hub area and daylight is approaching. So we will head off on our other little hyper tube network off to Project Assembly, what I've done so far for Project Assembly, and have a quick look at that. So I really like the, the way that I'm just flying the uh, hyper tubes through the terrain. I wanna I wanna build into the terrain a lot. Um, All right, approaching project assembly into the grasslands area. Probably notice a lot of the lights from a distance. They're actually red. Um, it's actually a bug. They actually turn green when you get to them. Uh, the smaller little um, supports here are really cool. I've only just started playing with all the uh, different uh, tiles and things that we can use. But yeah, so um, I've basically got, I won't go through everything in this building, but I'll just go, just go over here and have a quick look. Um, that Yep, that again is a bug. Where, it's, where they're red lights, they're actually not red. If I get close, they turn green. See that? Um, I really want to start building some fancy buildings with all the new tiles and all that. But um, this is just project assembly, and I'll just keep building on this. Um, potentially maybe spread it across the world, but as you can see, um, just here, I've uh, got the first three phases of it, we've actually completed it, and it's just stockpiling in there. Once this overflows, which it has, 
Um, it's going to um, overflow into a crusher at the moment. So uh, yeah, that's it. That's project assembly so far. And we will head on back. Uh, probably build a weapons factory up there because that's pure coal node. I'm only using half of it. And we'll head on back and I'll show the start of the steel motor factory I've started building and that'll be about it. Alright, back at the hub area. So, got one little hopper tube uh, going down there, one going down there. I haven't put the signs on them yet, I will do. And the last one is another truck setup. So I'm getting these two iron nodes here. I haven't set the trucks up yet. I've, I've planned out the path, I know where they're gonna come. Um, down the left side here. They're gonna drop off the motors here. Um, come around here in this little intersection, not intersection, but like, uh, I don't know, roadway, and then pick up the iron, the two iron nodes, and then come up this side here, and then we're gonna go over to the motor factory, which is in progress. I've only really just started um, the foundations for it, and the setup, but it's pretty cool. All right, so up this um, little ramp, I'm gonna use decals and things or um, templates to put arrows. I had to cut down a bunch of trees and things to get through here. But basically I was just going up to the two um, coal nodes that are just up here. I'm gonna slow down so I don't get sucked up to the top. All right, so what's gonna happen is, um, the factory's gonna be built up here. You can see that I've started using a lot of the new tiles uh, and the, the beams and things, only just started. But it's pretty cool under here because you've got a little circular lake and two coal nodes either side. Um, the trucks are gonna come up here, hang a left because we're driving on the Aussie side of the road. Uh, they're going to, uh, what are we doing? Drop off our iron here and then keep hooking around and they are going to pick up the motors from here. So they do a little lap around this little thing and inside here is a Mercer sphere, which I'm just gonna leave there at the moment. I've got the sound for the UI turned down because since the update, it's really loud and the distance is, is quite far away from when it triggers the, um, the voice that tells you to harvest it. And yeah, and the, the trucks are gonna go that way. So I'll finish this off uh, for this episode. Episode one, I guess, of update five. And uh, yeah, see how it looks. You know what, I've changed my mind. I'm not gonna finish it off. Um, I don't wanna keep the, I don't wanna make these episodes too long. I'm gonna leave it here uh, and then I'll finish it off and do another episode. Uh, so, the plan is, again, the plan is, I'm going to go back to the original uh, world we were building, the epic world with the 100 turbo motors per minute and the sick nuclear plant and all that. It's just the trains at the moment are too much to deal with. So for this playthrough, I'm gonna play through the content. So essentially uh, project assembly. Nowhere near gonna use up all the resources in the world, just gonna play through the content, build some nice looking stuff into the world. Um, and learn the trains. And the other thing I want to do is use drones and trucks together in unison. And because in the last build, I couldn't build uh, any, well, I couldn't extensively use drones because we used up all the bauxite and all the aluminium um, for the 100 turbo motors. So we're going to finish that once I've learnt uh, all the ropes of the trains and then fixed all the bugs and all that. But for now, we're going to go through project assembly in a separate playthrough. And just to finish off, I've just noticed as I'm talking, this tractor is up here and I have no idea how it got up here, but when I was building Project Assembly in the grasslands, it happened over there. It's pretty funny. It must be a bug because um, the truck was down there on the floor um, and I think when you spawn in, they must, I don't know, fall from the sky or something. So I'm sure other people have noticed this bug, but at the moment it's just pretty funny. 
Cool, so that's it. Catch you later.